Hi, I'm Dwight Lindsay, owner and president of Lindsay Optics, and I'd like to show you our new uh, uh, large format director's viewfinder. So we've got it set up here with uh, a handle extension, uh, which allows you to uh, get good balance with a heavy lens. Uh, you can also uh, mount this uh, custom oak handle uh, directly under the viewfinder, uh, if you wish. Uh, if you have a lightweight lens, perhaps a uh, compact uh, prime or something like that. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, <clears throat> we have a native um, LPL mount here and uh, a PL to LPL adapter. At the moment, we've got a, uh, a metal uh, PL lens cap in, comes with a PL and an LPL uh, lens cap. Uh, the concept is uh, multi-format. We do formats as small as Super 35 and as large as Alexa 65 and Monstro 8K. At the moment, I've got a uh, large format um, uh, module uh, in here. You see these two little red buttons. When you uh, press these buttons and pull it out, the module uh, comes out. This is, uh, in fact, a full frame module, I see. And um, the full frame module has uh, glass in it, uh, which allows uh, a focus, um, uh, a proper view of the relatively smaller format. The uh, ground glass is uh, a bit larger than Alexa 65 and uh, a fair bit larger than uh, Monstro 8K. They attach magnetically to the module. The um, large format module uh, does not have any glass in it. That's the uh, native format of the viewfinder. Uh, and again, this format here is just bigger than uh, Alexa 65 and Monstro 8K. So uh, the ground glass attaches and you put it into the viewfinder. So uh, there is a dovetail slide here, loosens with this uh, red knob and um, uh, you can further adjust the uh, balance uh, of uh, the viewfinder. Here we have uh, rosettes which loosen like this and so you can uh, uh, find a comfortable uh, handle position and it's very securely uh, locked with uh, the rosettes. So this is our latest uh, product and uh, it's getting very good reviews from uh, those who've seen it and those who've purchased it. Uh, we have uh, couple more things. We have here a diopter adjustment, uh, plus four, minus four uh, diopter. And uh, as I said, uh, we have uh, the uh, PL to LPL adapter uh, in the front. Uh, we also make a variety of uh, other products. This one is a, uh, a tray mount close-up lens. It's a conventional uh, single element plano convex uh, diopter, the same as you have in uh, our 138 millimeter ring mounted diopters, but these uh, you just put directly into your tray. The one I have in my hand is a um, plus three, uh, which requires three undivided slots in the mat box. The uh, plus quarter, plus half, and plus one require uh, only one slot in the mat box, so they can go into a divided slot uh, should you wish. So these are um, literally the same glass as our 138 millimeter uh, <clears throat> uh, diopters, and uh, we mount them directly into um, the 4x5.65 uh, tray, and therefore we can make them thinner. We actually, for this plus one, we actually melted new higher refractive index glass to make it thinner so that it would go in one tray. I believe we're the only people who can supply a um, plus one uh, diopter in a single tray. Uh, we're also making uh, a um, rotopole, sometimes called a rotopola. Um, again, a four by 5.65 tray, <coughs> a polarizer, and um, I do it this way, maybe you'll see the polarization. No, you won't see the polarization. Uh, <clears throat> so um, it is a 
1.5 stop, 38% transmission. It's a very good polarizer. It has um, a multi-layer uh, broadband coat, anti-reflection coating, uh, and an easy clean coating uh, on top of that. So uh, it cleans uh, quite beautifully and quite easily should you fingerprint it. Uh, a refinement on that, we're making a um, uh, variable neutral density filter. Uh, which again has the uh, broadband anti-reflection coating on it and has a uh, usable range from two stops uh, to eight stops. This requires two um, undivided slots uh, in the mat box. And finally, we're uh, making these uh, streak filters. Um, they uh, are... Uh, uh, much like street filters you can find from other suppliers, except that we are uh, putting them in the rotating frame. Uh, they're available in uh, eight different colors. The most popular are clear and blue. The blue gives you uh, uh, an approximation of the blue anamorphic streak that uh, is so well liked. And uh, they come in spacings, the spacing between the rod lenses uh, of two millimeters, four millimeters, two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeters, and six millimeters. Six millimeter spacing is the weakest value. A two millimeter is the strongest value. We also make some unusual uh, patterns, uh, uh, a um, confetti, which gives you a broken star effect, and uh, a swirl, which gives you a star effect with a long elliptical tail. Uh, <clears throat> if you'd like more information about our products, uh, please visit us at lindsayoptics.com.